been planning to do a video on uh, neutral monism for a while, and uh, if anyone there doesn't know what that is, it's a uh, philosophical paradigm where the, uh, the basic substance of the universe is not matter or mind, but some sort of neutral third substance from which both matter and mind emerge. Uh, now in particular, uh, there's been some speculation as to what this neutral stuff is, and one of the ideas which I subscribe to is that it's information. Uh, now, before I begin with my argument, I want to just clarify something because I get into trouble with this sometimes of what exactly I mean by information. It's not just, you know, uh, strings of symbols or something like that. It's uh, information in its natural form, or a better way to think about it would be sort of platonic stuff or platonic forms. So basically the argument is that, or the, the idea is that everything in the world is made of platonic forms at the bottom, just that some of it appears to be empirical to us. So uh, here we go with my argument. Let's say we take any object, say like this uh, little toy space shuttle here for a second. And uh, this is a three-step argument. First we say, we ask the question, is this made of information? Just uh, straight up say yes or no, it's made of information or it's made of matter. If it's made of information, then we stop because that was what we we're kind of aiming at. If it's made of matter, then we proceed to step two. And then we say, we before we do step two though, we ask all possible questions of this little space shuttle. We say, you know, Say what the colors are, it's white and black, what's the shape. You, you zoom down into the atoms, you get all the details about that. You know, but then we have the we ask all possible questions about this little space shuttle, and then we have all possible answers come back. And now the once we're done with this, the amount of information is the sum total of information that defines the space shuttle. But now we ask the qu second question is the sum total of that information equal to the space shuttle? Is it the same thing as the space shuttle? Now if it is, then we say that the the clump of platonic stuff, so to speak, that defines what this, the properties of the space shuttle is the space shuttle. And uh, then in which case it's all made of information and we stop. And we say, no it's not, there's something else there that's not platonic stuff. It uh, has a different ar material ontological status and we then proceed to step three. So in this case we now have on one side, we, you know, if we could sort of imaginarily pull off all the platonic parts, the information describes it, put it over here, and then we have sort of the, the bare naked matter on the other side, which is um, has no platonic component at all. Uh, we ask the question of that sort of bare naked material stuff. We ask the question, does it exist or not? Now, if we get back, back the answer, no, that it does not exist, and therefore we have to go back to the first two steps and conclude that it's made of information. If, however, we get back the answer yes, that this material does exist, this non-platonic material does exist, then we've just derived more information from it. The problem is, is we've just derived the sum total of information in step two. And so we have this little problem of if the matter actually exists, then it's more matter than it's actually defined as having. So it leads to a contradiction, and so therefore the only other conclusion is that it's no, in which case the little space shuttle, or for that matter, anything else, is made of information. And, uh, this actually applies to um, mind as well, or any other possible substance, so it's kind of a universal argument you can use against uh, regarding any sort of substance. So, uh, what do you guys think?